good morning welcome to panic classroom and welcome to this week's episode of i'm not gonna take crap i'm just not gonna take it anymore welcome <laughs> i just came in like real hot today right i must have been fired up about something I came in real hot uh first i love my sweatshirt because i am a homebody i am one i would much rather just chill at home watch a movie or perhaps finish Loki because I keep falling asleep at night. So I need to finish Loki. It's on my to-do list today. I'm, I'm just started the finale. So, and I've been avoiding the internet with any kind of spoilers or predictions when it comes to Loki. So I just need to finish it before I'm spoiled with something. Anyway, love being a homebody. It's just cozy, it's just cozy. And my sister Katie got me this sweatshirt Fun fact, it is her birthday on Thursday. Wait, I take that back. Her birthday is on Friday. <laughs> I just looked at the calendar. Her birthday is on Friday. I will tag her Instagram handle in the description below so that you can go and give her so much love, so much support, and you might even see a different side of Education Queen on that one. But my sister is, mm, she's a gem. She's a gem. Chef's kiss. I want to talk about shame responses today. And I need to credit Holistic Psychologist. I follow her on Instagram. I'm going to tag her as well because I, you have to follow her. First of all, I feel like she is that friend that always knows what to say in an awkward situation without coming off disrespectful. That's what I feel like her Instagram account is about. Plus, it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. So I, while I was scrolling through Instagram this week, then I came across her responses to um, shame. If people try to throw shame on you. And I put some on my personal Instagram. I had so many DMs about, oh, this is exactly what I needed. Oh, I wish I would have had these words when I was younger. And... It, it, it struck a chord with me because I too wish I would have had these phrases to fall back on for, you know, just those tools that you keep in your, in your toolbox in case someone tries to come at you. So that's this week's episode. I want to give you five, and she has several on her, on her Instagram account, but I want to give you five that I think are most relative to my demographic, my audience. And all of them are pretty savage. And I feel as though us as a society has, has really come a long way with not judging, like instantly judging someone for being different than who we are. But we still have a long way to go. And sometimes it's not that person's fault if they instantly go to judgment instead of love or curiosity towards a person. Because think about the way that even some of your friends have grown up. Think about the household. What kind of traditions are in that household? Maybe it's the environment that someone grew up in. And if you're not exposed to people who look different than you, act different than you, talk different than you, then you're kind of at a disadvantage because when you do encounter someone who is different than you, whether it's looks, beliefs, values, customs, whatever it may be, then it, you kind of pause, right? You're like, oh, that's different. And you can lean towards the judgment part and go, ugh. Or you can lean into the curiosity side of things, which is where I tend to go. So you ask questions, you observe, you don't jump to those assumptions or judgments, you ask questions. And that's what I'm hoping that the society and uh, even even if you're in my classroom for a week, then I'm hoping that you can lean towards that curiosity side more or tap into that more because we all have something to give to the world. And if we instantly shut the door on a possibility of learning more, then not only does the world have a huge disadvantage, you have a huge disadvantage from that learning opportunity. So next time someone tries to shame you, here are the five that I think are most relative. 
next time someone tries to shame you with one of these phrases, put these responses in your toolbox, okay? Just put it, put it like in your pocket, maybe even write these down. You could rewind and rewatch this so that you can take notes, but these are a little savage and I'm excited to show them to you. So first one, first one is, if that was me, I would have never done that. Your response, you're right. It wasn't you. <laughs> Here's something I've learned through therapy too. Try to avoid saying always and never because those are extremes. So always and never indicate that it's never a possibility, like 0% chance. And always assumes that it's 100% chance. So with our expectations, we know that nothing is truly ever, never, or always. So avoid those when you're speaking. But I love this one. If that was me, I would have never done that. Your response, you're right. It wasn't you. I have more. Okay, here's the second one. Why can't you be more like than insert someone's name? Here's what you say. Because I'm not, insert that person's name. Think siblings on this one. And a lot of my students have siblings. Think about when your parents, now also be mindful of your audience. Like don't be throwing these back at parents at an inappropriate time. It's not gonna pan out well for you, okay? And don't you dare say, oh, education queen said to blah, blah, blah. Mm. No, listen to the whole video. Be mindful of your audience. Remember to lead with that kindness, lead to the respect. I'm talking about those people that come at you that don't even know who you are, okay? So think siblings. I know that there are a lot of siblings that get compared to one another, right? And no two people are alike, especially siblings. My two girls, my older one is way different than my younger one. I'm not like my sisters or my brother. I'm not like them, but that's okay. I have other strengths. They have other strengths. It's fine. So again, why can't you be more like, insert that person's name, your response? Because I'm not, insert that person's name. Third one. I don't approve of your lifestyle. Here's your response. My lifestyle doesn't need your approval. <laughs> you can also say my lifestyle doesn't require your approval. Now, once again, be mindful of your audience. If your parents are coming at you and saying, I don't approve your lifestyle. Um, you best not be saying this line. Uh, uh, because until you're 18 and grown and an adult and out of that house, you do need your parents. Okay. So don't be throwing that at your parents. But again, I'm speaking to those people who don't even know you and want to try to come at you. I don't think so. I don't approve of your lifestyle. My lifestyle doesn't need your approval or doesn't require your approval. Fourth one. Actually, this is just me holding you accountable. Here's what you say. I hold myself accountable. I am my own responsibility, not yours. Now, when you say this one, you better be ready to hold that responsibility. If you say that you're responsible for yourself, follow up, show up for yourself. Don't just say, oh, I'm responsible for myself and then continue to do idiotic things. You gotta own it. If you're gonna, if you're gonna throw that back, you gotta own it too. Here's the last one. Shame on you. Here's what you say. Please don't project shame onto me. Because that's what they're trying to do, right? They're trying to project a feeling onto you to make you feel that way. That's not on you. That burden is not for you to hold on to. So if someone wants to come at you because you speak differently, you talk differently, you act differently, and they're trying to shame you for that, 
for being your authentic self, which is not like them, that's a projection. That's not on you. That is their insecurity coming through. So please don't project that shame on me. I hope with these five that I have given you some tools today to spread out that, like, like put shame in its place, right? And if someone's putting that onto you, that's, that's not shame's place. Shame's place is not for you to hold on to. Okay. It's not your burden. You don't get to carry that. You don't need to carry that. So I hope I've given you some tools today so that you feel empowered, supported, I'm here for you. Well, nobody puts baby in a corner, okay? My, my colleagues will understand that reference. Younger demographic is totally not going to understand that reference. I'm showing my age again. Anyway, I'm going to go be a homebody. I'm going to go finish Loki. And uh, have a great day. Make smart choices. Be kind to one another. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to one another. Bye.